Hello, my name is Ms. Hirschberger and I am one of the Pre-AP English 1 teachers at Olathe Northwest. On behalf of the other English teachers at ONW, congratulations on selecting Pre-AP as your English class of choice. You are about to embark on a challenging and rewarding journey where literature will shape the way and change the way you view the world. Let's begin looking over your summer assignment. First, keep in mind that this assignment is due on August 13th. That is the first full day of school. You will need to bring a printed copy as well as an electronic version of your assignment. The electronic version can be brought on a USB drive or you can email the assignment to yourself so that you can access it at a school computer. Your teacher will provide further instructions during the school day on how to upload your assignment to turnitin.com. On the first page, you are provided with an overview of the assignment. Notice that you are asked to select one of two choices for you to read during the summer. The first option is True Grit by Charles Portis. The second novel you can choose to read is The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd. There are a total of four parts to this assignment, so please look over the instructions carefully as I give them in detail. Let's take a look at part one. For this part of the assignment, you are required to annotate various sections of your no novel, a total of three. The pages you will need to annotate are listed under Required Annotations on page two. Annotations mean you mark the text, take notes, and interact with the text to create a stronger connection and develop greater meaning of what you are reading. Please refer to the sample annotations on page three. Your teacher is looking for three things in your annotations. Number one, literary elements. This means you are circling, underlining, and highlighting various literary elements as you come across them in those sections. So things like similes, metaphors, allusions, foreshadowing, all of those are available for you to identify. Your teacher is also looking for you to create text questions, meaning ask questions in the margin about the meaning of the text or maybe how it can relate to your own life. And that brings me to the last section of your annotations, which is personal connections. This is where you need to connect what's happening in the text to things in your own life, whether you can relate to Maddie in this experience to maybe something else that you've experienced in your own life. Now let's take a look at part two of your assignment. In here, you will complete a literary devices chart. A sample is provided for you on page four from both novels. In your chart, you can see the literary device and its definition are already provided for you. Your task is, as you read your novel, is to find examples of each of those literary devices and provide a quote with a page number. Then you will need to explain how the literary device is functioning in your novel. Again, please refrain from summarizing or restating the definition of the literary device. It's important to create a connection between the text and the device or why the author chose to put that device in that passage. Again, please refer to the sample to have a better idea of what is expected. Part three begins on page six of your assignment. As you are reading your novel, your task is to look for evidence that shows how the protagonist of your novel develops in your story. The protagonist, or main character of the story, is Maddie Ross in True Grit, or Lily Owens in Secret Life of Bees. Your evidence example should come from the beginning, middle, and end of your novel for a total of five passages. After you have identified the passages, your task is to analyze and explain how that passage is significant for your character. Again, please refrain from just summarizing the passage and create a connection between what is going on in the text and the character themselves. There is a sample there for you that you can also refer to if you need it. Now let's look at the final part of your assignment, beginning on page seven. Your task is to respond to three questions for your novel. Your responses must be at least a half page in length and must be typed, double spaced, and Times New Roman 12 point font. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have further questions about the summer assignment, there is contact information for each of the English teachers on the first page of your packet. Don't forget about the summer help session on August 5th from 5 p.m. until 7 p.m. It is a come and go help session and many English teachers will be there to assist you with your assignment. Come for five minutes or come for the full two hours, but you will definitely get 
some worthwhile time out of that experience. Have a wonderful summer and happy reading. I can't wait for you to enjoy and embark your journey to Lake the Northwest.